This video tries to give an explanation to this FM transmitter circuit. I tested this FM transmitter from Make, which was originally developed by a guy named Kagawa. It works quite good for a couple of meters if you connect an antenna. The audio signal comes in at the left side. The 1 to 33 microfarads cap C1 gets rid of any DC in the signal. The resistor R1 after the capacitor C1 removes any charge that has built up in the capacitor C1. C2 connects to ground to remove RF signals which may come from the resonant circuit. So C2 and C3 act as a low pass filter. Because we don't want to have high frequency signals in our audio part. So I calculated the reactance X of C2 and C3 at audio frequencies which go from 16 Hz to 20,000 Hz. At 16 Hz it is 995 ohm. At 20 kHz it is 796 ohm. At 100 MHz it is 0 0.16 ohm. So the 100 MHz frequencies will go to ground due to the low resistance. The audio signal goes to the base of the transistor. So that it can be amplified and mixed with the radio frequency signal. The 27 K ohm resistor pulls up the base of the transistor. So that the negative part of the audio signal doesn't get cut off. Otherwise the negative part of the sine wave would get cut off because the transistor would not amplify it. R3 acts like a short circuit protection. With 470 ohm at a 9 volts battery there are 19 milliamperes flowing in the amplification stage. The transistor can only amplify about 200 times so you will probably not be able to transmit it a higher range by just placing a lower value resistor. Also the current in the LC tank might be limited. The purpose of C5 seems to be to filter out low frequencies for the antenna. At 100 MHz the reactance X of C5 is 159 ohms. C4 should be the oscillating capacitor. Because L1 and C4 are connected in series. And L1 gets positive voltage from one side and C4 goes to ground on the other side. Like in this schematic from Wikipedia which shows a series LC circuit. The transistor mixes the audio sine wave with the LC tank sine wave. The audio signal at the base of the transistor nudges the LC tank. It pushes new energy into the oscillation every time the audio sine wave is at the top. I am not claiming that this explanation is complete or perfect. If you have something to add or criticize, you can write a comment. Fun fact if you don't have an antenna at hand you can try to put your finger and put it on the antenna spot. Then your body will act as an antenna. And if you want to have a more stable signal that does not change in frequency over time you should use a voltage regulator or a power supply unit instead of just using a 9 volt battery.